World's scariest pranks. These are the scariest pranks in the world. Consider yourself lucky you're not this person, or this person, or uh, how you see where I'm going with this. With so many people terrified of elevators, it seems like a pretty obvious place to stage a prank, but this one really did get creative. <laughs> Wait, Instead of doing dangerous. something obvious, like pretending the elevator was stuck, this Japanese show got a little creative. The producer escorts their victim to the elevator, but the second they step inside, this happens. Hell no! That's definitely something you can never- Yo, what if they stepped on the wrong side and it wasn't in the middle and they headbutted the side? Like, like they just headbutted this. You know what I'm saying? That's definitely something you can never prepare for, and why would you? Wait, I'm confused. Wait, who walks in elevators like that? Wait, do you guys walk into elevators like that? Why do why do walk it? Hmm. Who walks in elevators like that? And if that? that wasn't enough of a shock, they then find themselves on an underground slide covered in some kind of mysterious goo. Come. New fear unlocked anyone? These gross. tourists in China probably thought that walking on this glass bridge was scary enough on its own. They clearly had gross. no idea what was in store for them. In hindsight, I'm sure you know it's a prank, but I can't Wait, even ready. imagine what I'd be thinking if that were happening to me. Take a look at this guy who was just seconds away from losing his iPad. <laughs> Oh my god. They achieved this amazing illusion by placing real shards of glass and video screens oh, underneath no. the glass floor and topped it all off with sound effects to make it seem extra real. No. Funny or cruel? <laughs> I'll leave you to be the judge of that. Picture this. You're sitting in an empty office, just waiting around for something to happen. Then suddenly the entire desk slides open. What do you do? You look in it. Some people would make a run for the exit as quickly as possible. No, you're These people, it. on the other hand, made the mistake of being curious enough to stay and look. That's exactly what the pranksters wanted. Before they knew what was happening, they- Hey, I, I don't know what this Japanese show is, but I swear they're just spunking on everyone. I swear, like, what is going on? What is this show? I swear, bro, what, is, what are they doing? had a face full of cream. It looks like it got everywhere too. That guy must have been glad he was wearing glasses, although he doesn't seem very happy about yeah, any I'd of be it. So In pissed. the old days, all you needed for a good prank was a telephone, but those were simpler times. If you want to execute a really great prank now, you probably need to look into purchasing an extremely realistic dinosaur costume. Wait, what jail? Sure, that's going to be pretty expensive, <laughs> but there's one big benefit to a moving dinosaur. It seems to terrify- Bro, there's just no way you would think that's an actual dinosaur, though. Like, like, there's no way you'd think that's a dinosaur. By just about everyone. Even though dinosaurs have been extinct for millions of years, there's just something unsettling about a prehistoric beast chasing us down a corridor. I don't care, Owen. I'm sure these people would agree. Maybe cornering yourself on the ground isn't the smartest move, either. There's always more than one way to do something, but the choice usually comes down to what you're really trying to achieve. For example, if you wanted to terrify someone in an elevator, you could just have the whole floor open up and eat them, but that wouldn't sell very many TVs. What LG wanted to do instead was make it look like the floor of the elevator was falling away, you know, to prove how good their TVs are. Oh, yo! Ironically, some victims even tried to find a safe tile to stand on, sometimes scrambling to That's the other trippy. end of the elevator. <laughs> I'm just glad I didn't need to experience this for myself. If you've ever watched The Ring, then you'll know just how terrifying it is. The movie creators put together the perfect set for a scary prank. Just okay, okay, this would shit me up. But you just, just so you know, I feel sorry for the girl because if she did it to me, BANG! I'm not gonna straight out. I'm not gonna straight out. When their customers least expected it, the I'm screen not pulled up out. without them noticing, leaving a gap for the actress to crawl out and scare the life oh out of the god. unsuspecting victims. Oh my god. <gasps> Honestly, I think those people handled that quite well. Well, most of them anyway. <laughs> Imagine you're a technology company. What's the best way to prove that your TVs have the highest quality screens on the market? LG's headquarters in Chile came up with an ingenious joke. They gathered people for a job interview. 
filled the office with hidden cameras and set up one of their TVs so it looked like a window. Job interviews are stressful enough. They're far worse when a meteor suddenly appears. Bro, that, nah, there's just no way. Yo, I could, I could tell that's a TV, mate. There's just no way. Bro, you know that. Bro, you know that's a TV. You know that's a TV. You think that's Most real? Most of them took it well, except for that one guy. I think I'm on his side, though. Some people really know how to create drama. But the TNT network might have just overshadowed every other drama queen on the face of the earth. In 2013, the company erected a suspiciously large button in Belgium, I'd inviting unsuspecting people to push to add I'd drama. Some people it. just walk by, but some brave and curious people press the button. Once that happens, all heck breaks loose. With staged fights and gunfire breaking out in Wait, the town, sick. bikini babes on motorcycles tore up the street and. Oh my god, I'd be pressing it all day long. I'd be. Anarchy erupted. Impressive, the best part of the video is the reactions of those who set it off. Participants look around stunned as the action unfolds, trying to come to terms <laughs> with the fact they caused it all to happen. This prank show wanted to see what would happen if they glued people to the floor. Imagine, there you are just minding your own business. One minute you're getting along with your day, the next you're stuck to the ground. But no, you know what? If they did that to me though, they better pay for my clothes. They better pay for my clothes. What if I'm, what if I'm wearing my nice shoes? You know what I'm saying? Your own business. One minute you're getting along with your day, the next you're stuck to them. the ground. But there's more than one way to achieve a sticky floor prank. Plan A is to trap ordinary people on the street as they go about their day. Then there's the more extreme method. Place a tray of sticky goo behind a closed door and just wait oh. for the next victim. The highlight's definitely their previous victim sitting on the sofa covered in goo. He didn't even try to warn him. Here's something you almost that never think about. Work. Drinking fountains. Sure, they're a handy thing to have around, but that didn't look right they're too. not exactly going to take up a lot of space in your thoughts at least not until something like this happens to you this prank show set up you know what i don't know yo i would actually prefer these kind of water fountains do you guys ever go to water fountains and the water that's coming out of it is just perfect you know when you're like Matt, guys you know we having a piss and it's like the last few drops of the piss and it's just like Bro, that's what most water bars are, bro. You can't get it. You, you can't get any. Bro, I'd prefer this, man. Just shoot straight into my mouth. This prank show set up a drinking fountain with a twist. Just stick to your catch unsuspecting out. people by surprise, and it definitely worked. I don't know if you've ever had water sprayed up your nose at high pressure. Oh. But it's definitely not pleasant. It's I wouldn't go near shot. that fountain again, but these people are clearly a little braver than me. Most of them go in for another try. It doesn't seem worth it, but you've got to admire their dedication. <laughs> the Indiana Jones films are iconic. They're a part of our culture, but even in iconic films like that, there are moments that stand out and take a life of their own. You probably already know where I'm going with this. This girl got to reenact that iconic moment, whether she wanted to or not. Oh, Honestly, shit. it really does look genuinely frightening, especially since that's the last thing you expect when walking down a corridor. At least they were kind enough to give her something soft to land on. Even in a world of clever pranks, some are just a little more intelligent than others. The creators of the Invisible Man movie obviously know how to scare people, but it's quite different to execute that in real life. As part of their press, they decided they were going to give journalists a taste of what it would be like to really encounter the Invisible Man. Let's just say it wasn't the kind of interview they were expecting. Man. Oh my god. That would get me, bro. They that rigged the interview me. room to make it look like someone invisible was making things move. The that grand finale cool. was a clever reveal of the invisible man standing up behind the curtain. The people who stayed in the room deserve a medal. So, cool. you're a yogurt company that needs to get an advertisement done. What's the best way to get people to eat yogurt? With a bear, apparently. Chobani decided they'd recreate their famous bear-centered Super Bowl commercial by setting a bear loose in New York City. Alright, not quite. They actually unleashed a man in an animatronic <laughs> bear suit onto the streets to frighten unsuspecting members of the public. And it worked!
are you knocking for, Buck? What are you knocking for, huh? What do you want? What do you want, mate? Thought the bear was knocking. The bear wreaked a bit of havoc. The only people that seemed more confused than scared were passing children. I guess they just don't understand perfectly good advertising. Yeah, children ain't bothered. Children ain't bothered, bro. They ain't bothered. They ain't bothered.